you're going to smoke fish, you want to have a brine. What I've got here is a half a cup of the big crystal Himalayan pink sea salt, half a cup of brown sugar. Kosher salt works just fine. This is what I happen to have. And you want to stir this up, whisk it up until the salt and brown sugar are dissolved. What I've got here, and have some fun with your brine. I've got some onion powder. I'm going to go about a teaspoon and a half. I've got some garlic powder. I'm going to go closer to two teaspoons. And then I've got some smoked paprika, maybe a half a teaspoon. Add in what you like. Here I've got three rainbow trout fillets. They've already had the heads cut off. They're already gutted. Okay, now these are farm raised. Unfortunately, I didn't catch them, but it's all we have here. It'll be just fine. So we've got our brine all mixed in or mixed up. We got our trout fillets in there. Put the lid on. This is going in the fridge for two hours. Two hours later, fish is all brined. Now, you could brine up to six hours if you wanted. The longer you brine, the saltier it will get. So um, definitely don't have to worry about it being too salty for two hours. If you start going a long time, it might get a little too salty. You'll just have to experiment with that. Uh, but for rainbow trout, uh, it's a thin fish. I usually go two to three hours. What we want to do here is just dry the tops off. You can see I've got them on a raised rack, all three fillets. And then as soon as I get these guys dried off, we're going to move them to the refrigerator, uncovered just like this. Now I've read some people will blow a fan over them all kinds of goodies like that. You want, you know, a few hours. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for a few hours. We'll probably go one and a half hours, but this will let them, uh, it, it'll dry and you'll see it when, when, I, when we come back, but they'll get what's called a pellicle on the top and that will help them absorb smoke. Two hours in the fridge. I don't know how well that shows up in the video. It's got like this tackiness to it, right? And it would get even tackier, um, the pellicle, if you let it go longer. Now I'm gonna hit it up with this loot and booty everything rub. Just a light layer, little extra flavor. Use your favorite rub. I would, if you have a cherry rub, cherry is perfect. And then let me just get these other two rainbow trout seasoned up, just like so. Let's get these bad boys over to the master build. Just going to open our master build up. Let's get these trout in there. I'm going to put one down there, and we've got two up here. Perfect. I've got this master belt set on 210 degrees, um, and we're using cherry wood today. It's been two hours and 10 minutes. I've checked this a couple of times. We're right at 144, depends on which piece you probe and where, 142. I'm going to get it off. It'll work its way on up a couple of degrees. I don't want to make jerky here, right? I want smoked fish. Now I made a really rookie mistake. I did not 
spray oil on these racks, big mistake. Just helps your fish come off a lot easier if you spray it with oil. Let's just do a quick recap. It was two hours, 10 minutes. 210 degrees, cherry wood. I brought these uh, rainbow trout up to, depends on which one you probed. Look at that, they're nice, flaky. 144, 145, um, you, the, you know, the government says cook it to 145. Now you're not making jerky, right? So you don't want to keep cooking it and cooking it unless jerky's what you want. <laughs> All right, mm. Nice, mild smoke. If you've ever had rainbow trout, you know, very mild fish. People always ask questions about the brine. Is it salty? Fish is not too salty at all. Absolutely incredible. Thanks for watching.